Yeah. And it takes you 20 plus hours to get back anyway. All right, guys, we're talking about uh, maybe perhaps flying the best mode of transportation today because walking and driving could be kind of everybody below the freezing point with the exception of Kankakee, which is coming in at about 36. So when you add to that to the rain that we had during the uh, evening and overnight period, and it was quite a bit, some heavy showers and storms, and now that's pushed on off to the east, revealing sort of a dry scene across Chicagoland, but temperatures have managed to drop off. So even though it's not currently raining or storming, we've got a mess on our hands. You can see, though, down around the Ohio River Valley and back into Kentucky and Tennessee, we do have some tornado watches that are ongoing right now from that powerful system as it works towards the east. But uh, it's leaving us in its dust, kind of, with some cloud cover to start, but an improving weather situation for the remainder of the day. So as high pressure builds in today, we're actually going to see sunshine coming out a little bit later on this afternoon. And into the evening hours, mostly clear skies to be expected. So actually things looking pretty good for your Monday. It will be a little breezy, though, today from time to time as the low moves out and the high begins to move in. So 34 degrees, but a slick commute, certainly. It's going to be clearing a little bit later on today. Tonight, we do expect to see mostly clear skies. It'll be cold temperatures, though, dropping off to about 20 or so. And then for tomorrow, your high is going to be around 43. So we just get